Hey guys, for, for this video I'll be talking about how to hold IV on train on CT side. So Savage and Salami, it's for you guys primarily. I'm going to talk about how to hold it for a rush. I'm going to talk about how to hold it. What else? Um, how to just spot it, play passive, and I'm going to talk about how to re or gain information after the T's throw what I like to call lock smoke. L O C K. There might be an E. So, okay, anyway. So, the first thing, I'll go over the setup. 2 2 1 setup, one player IV. The reason we do this, uh, having two, um, two cores with Salami playing solo, is that if um, it's really good for a rush B type thing. So, if T's go B, within 10 seconds we can have four guys on the B site. Uh, weaknesses. Are it's particularly weak to the T's jumping out Olaf and just rushing Salami. Other than that, yeah, that's the main weakness. It's not, I mean, it's not super strong against my Ivy Rush, but it's decent. And it's decent uh, because these guys are actually pretty close to push it. But in order to hold off an Ivy Rush from this setup, you need help. Um, so <clears throat> pushing up, what you do when you push up is you make yourself further away from your help. So Salami here, pushing up instead of playing an angle like one of these two, he adds an extra three seconds to Savage's rotate in order to help him. So what happens is if you're playing this angle and they rush you, you fall back to this angle you wait for Savage to get up here, and then you re-peek. Um, luckily, you get out of this, because at this point, you hear the T's running up. Um, and you get away just in time, as you'll notice. All right. So at this point, you're flashed, but we're in a pretty standard setup. Um, <laughs> uh, I pushed up. And Sav like uh, we split up here, so I'm in, I'm really exposed. But as far as Ivy is concerned, it's a pretty basic setup. Now, what you want to do if you don't have any utility, which you don't, there's one smoke on the team, and that belongs to me. I have yeah, I have one smoke. Is you want to play the crossfire? Uh, that's what you do when you know where the terrorists are. You know what you're trying to hold down choke point. So what you do is Savage, you play here, Salami, you play here. That way, when they cut, when the terrorists come out, you've got you've got clean shots at the side of the head, or the back of the head, or the front of the, or the face. You've got you've got easy targets, and they have to flick 180 in order to kill both of you. Uh. What you do is you challenge. Uh, well, first of all, they have the numbers advantage, so it's generally not a good idea to challenge, but I'll show you what happens. So they walk up, you get some shots, Savage gets picked, uh, Salami falls back. As far as, like, we lost a player, we lost position. I think they won the round. I don't remember if they won the round, but they did. They did have a smoke for you, but uh, not not how not how you will play Ivy if you want to if you want to get the easy kills. But, you know, maybe you, maybe you frag out, whatever. Okay, so the next round I want to talk about is how to def how to um, how to play Ivy passively. I call it spotting because you're. It's kind of like a scout position. You're just checking to see if anyone's there. If someone comes out, you will spot them, and then you will fall back. You, you're not, your job is not to kill. Your job is strictly for information. Um, and the reason I say that is because I think all three of us are actually pushing up close. Or at least <laughs> I am, and O-Town's going the long way around. But we get there eventually. 
and you will see that you don't have you don't have help. Savage even leaves to go help hold um, help hold B with Daff. So Salami, you are let's see one, two, three, four, maybe four, four and a half seconds from a rotate. I forget how long that is. Isn't there a way to check? I don't remember. Whatever. Really far away from the rotate, you can't die because if you die, we just immediately lose the whole, um, the whole back lanes area, like all this area, we lose if you die. So, but you don't want to completely, you don't want to give up Ivy, um, because then, yeah, you're still alive, but we lose Ivy anyway. So, what you want to do is you want to play a position like this, or this, or. Well, there's a smoke down there and we have decon so you could even play it like on the bomb train you can kind of see it my favorite spot is there because you can see deep into ivy and it's a really hard shot and they're not going to be looking for you so you're not going to get one banged Ugh. what else uh, but bare minimum you want to stay on this side of ivy because if you're on this side and if you get isolated or it, and then, then they can smoke this off and pinch our guys here. Where if they smoke this side off, then there's no one to pinch. They just have they just have territory. So if you're alone at Ivy and we are either pushing ladder or Tikon, you want to play on this side. Um, and absolutely you don't want to cross because I mean, you got killed by a rifler, fair play, but that's a, that's a good spot for an opera to hold as well, especially without a smoke. The last round I want to talk about is how to deal with what I call a lock smoke. And the reason it's called lock smoke is because it's like a lock. Um, like if, you're, if you're moving up, do they use it in dams? I've seen it when, when a, if a river's been dammed, or like the Mississippi River, where it's got locks along the way to prevent overflow, where if you want to go up the river, you take, a, or down the river for that matter, you drive your boat between the locks and you get into a lock, which is this gated corridor on water, and they, where um, one, body, one level of water's here, one level's here, you go into the lock, they fill it with water, and then you can um, continue sailing on the on the upper on the upper part of the river. So the reason I call this a lock smoke is because let's say the CTs smoke IV here, the terrorists will sometimes throw a smoke here, and that leaves this middle area, which is the lock in this analogy, where then the terrorists just need to flash through. It also happens on Banana and on Inferno. Happens on Long A on overpass. It happens. Mirage. Sometimes apartments on Mirage. Anything else? That's enough. Ooh. Um, sometimes actually on Z. Like if you're playing, like if you want to do a really aggressive A hold as Terrace, so you take the, you take A. You can throw smokes this way. And then you can retake Z as, or just plain take Z as a terrorist after you've planted the bomb. That can be really effective. So anyway, they take, um, they smoke off both sides of, of Z. They flash through their smoke. They push through. They clear the area right behind the box. They clear the area in this corner. And suddenly they have IV control. Now they don't have this, but it's really effective against oppers because even if an opper is sitting here, like fallen plays here, cold zero plays here, device plays here, all oppers play here. Um, even if an opper is here and there's a smoke in his face, he's going to fall back. So he's going to go back here, he's going to go to the other side of the smoke, play over here, but whatever. And then you can flash through the second smoke and you've just gained, like, I don't know what this is, 30 meters, 20 meters, whatever. You've just gained that much ground on the opper where you can now rush them, or you can at least push them off their spot. And this is this is what they do to you. Alrighty. 
Oh, that's not the right round. Round 11, we're looking for. All right, so you go to hold ivy, it's pretty normal. You throw your smoke. Uh, there's a gap in it, so practice. If you throw, um, that's my way. yeah, you can also get that smoke by bouncing it off the area by the door there, by doing a little run throw um, to that dark gray wall. Um, but yeah, here's the smoke I was talking about. And I'll show, you do the right thing initially, it's great. Uh, you throw a nice molly there. That that prevents them, but then you still have, I <laughs> get you, the good nade. But you still got, you know, 10 seconds of that smoke. That's flash. There, it's fading. Now, what you did is when the smoke faded, you peaked. Um, bad move. Uh, for exactly the reason you found, you just you just peeked into three people. If they're coordinated at all, which these guys are, because they're a team, they, there will be two or more people there. There were three there, which is probably more common. So you got wrecked. Like you didn't, best case scenario, you get one kill. But what we really need is to get one kill and fall back. Or get two kills and die. But you get, you get no kills and die. So here's what you do. When that lock smoke is fading, come on now. I'm going to go into free cam. You throw a flash that bounces right in this corner. And when it goes, it goes bloop and then pops at the level of the television. It will blind everybody. They will be destroyed. Throw that flash. Peak. If they're not there again, throw a flash, peak. Then you have IV control. What's more common is you'll throw a flash, peak, and they'll be full blind, tripping over each other, and then you get a three man spray down. Um, basically, if you see that smoke, expect three people to be behind it. In fact, if you think they're on eco, expect five people to be behind it, because a really fun strategy is to throw that lock smoke and then rush five people through it with a flash or, or dry. Uh, we get the kill because, well, O-Town got, O-Town got a couple of kills. I think, oh, and Savage was on the bomb train and just whoosh, bang, killed him. So that was nice. Oh, and did I not? I don't remember what I did. Uh, so let's see, how to hold a rush. Uh, Take a shot, fall back, wait for teammates, set up a crossfire. That's how to hold a rush. Um, how to spot it, so how to play it solo. And that is, don't hold it. Just um, find a spot. Oops. Oh, I have to play it in order to move it. Find a spot, like the green train, or I don't know where my camera is. Where am I? Oh yeah, find a spot like this where you can take take a shot and fall back. Or this is the spot I was talking about earlier. Where you can still see it. See, you can even see. I mean, right there you're exposed. But let's say ladder was smoked in that particular round. You can't be seen from Tcon. You can kind of, your feet can be seen from Olaf, but you can see into that little cubby. So you can take take a shot fall back, and then you're at the bomb train. You know, very, very common spot to hold. Anything else I want to talk about? Yeah, and then how to react to that lock smoke. Uh, learn, learn your pop flashes. Um, you can throw it in this corner. You can throw it in this corner. Uh, if you're at the green train, if you bounce one off the green train uh, running, running left click throw, just running regular throw, um, it'll pop right about here. So you can throw that one and then run behind it and then swing. I don't know of any off the ceiling. You could throw one off the wall, but basically how to deal with a with a lock smoke is when the smoke fades, pop flash it, and uh, and peek it, and hope hopefully they don't dodge your flash and shoot you. 
And you know, sometimes you can throw throw a pop flash and fall back and try and scare them. So that's how those are my notes on how to play train or Ivy on train.